Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute. I felt like filming a YouTube video. I went through some of my old catalog last night when I couldn't sleep and I've been releasing some older vlogs little by little um, back onto my public platform and I just felt a little inspired to do a video here. Um, I did create an ASMR channel back in January that I've been really active on. I'll leave it below if you're interested in that kind of stuff but it's really funny that TikTok and Instagram are the new way of the world and although I'm active, very active, way more active on there than I am here, as a consumer, I enjoy getting my content in a, lorm f in a long format as opposed to a short format. So um, it's just interesting how, you know, we go with the times, but yet sometimes we like the classics and YouTube to me is a classic. Uh, I like to get invested into people, channels, and different things. So for me, like I'll do a lot of true crime on here and a lot of ASMR I consume. But um, today I wanted to talk about Pepe Tools. I have a few products that they had sent me, um, not sponsored by them. They don't pay me to talk about these and I have no obligation to like them or not. And some I like better than others, but I did want to give you like a compare and contrast because all of these products that they did send, which is three products, are available in Rio at Rio Grande in their own form. And I'm going to talk about them because I have them as well that I've also purchased. So it's really nice when brands recognize your hard work when it comes to, you know, just putting out content. It is a lot of work. It takes away from my bench time, um, but I really enjoy it. I've always really liked making videos. I've had a YouTube channel for 10 years. I can't believe that. And although I'm not frequent on it, I've been frequent on all my platforms for a really long time. So I do appreciate when brands like Pepe Tools um, recognize the work that I put in because honestly, guys, you know, I don't make any money for my YouTube channel. Um, I'm not consistent enough to do that. So it's really nice when you get small kickbacks like this that I get to enjoy. I'm not a millionaire. I'm a working artist. So um, of course I love to try new products, especially when companies are kind enough to send them. So blah, blah, blah. Let's get into it. Okay. So the three products I'm going to talk about are the Smart Pickle, the Blade Butter, and the Smart Flux. And these are all from the Bench Basics line from Pepe Tools, which is clever marketing I like. I do like the packaging and everything that they have going on. Um, I'm going to start with the pickle because this is the only one I'm not going to show you guys like, you know, an example or um, a video tutorial. It's very basic. It's like any other pickle. It's going to work the same. You know, you're going to scoop it. You're going to put it in the water of your crock pot and let it heat up. I personally really like this. It There's no difference though to me from this to the Rio pickle. I have used the Rio pickle for many years. It's the only pickle I've really honestly ever tried. I have tried a natural pickle once before. I can't help it. I like the one, the chemical one. I think it works well. They're both three pound um, jars. And I do believe that the Bench Basics is a little bit more money. I will put all the pricing on the screen. But like I said, these are virtually identical. They're gonna do what they're supposed to. You pop your piece in to the hot water. It's gonna clean it really well and it should come out nice and frosty white. Um, other than that, I really won't say that there's a lot I'm gonna harp on with this. I think that if you're already checking out for some um, tools or if you're reloading on your blades, or I'm sorry, re-upping on your blades, then maybe you throw one of these in there if you need it, you know, I wouldn't say, like I said, nothing revolutionary really when it comes to the pickle. I think if you just want to support the brand, then it's a good product. Um, the next one that I'm going to talk about, and I do have a little clip I'm going to insert is the smart flux. This is a great product. I'm no stranger to, um, these types of flux, uh, products. They're all prevention products so that you can prevent fire scale. I do believe they help with fire stain. You know, fire stain, fire stain and fire scale are different. I think a lot of people get them confused in the beginning, but fire stain is when the copper rises to the surface when it's overheated, uh, when you're soldering, sterling, or annealing it. And you get that really pesty red tone, undertone when you go for your final polish. These types of products definitely do help you because it's protecting the metal and I tend to find that you won't overheat it as much. It takes longer to heat the piece and get it to temperature, but it does really protect your work, especially if you like doing multi-soldered pieces, multi-layered, a lot of components. This is a great way. Also for me, I find it allows me to not I can just be a little more careful when I'm soldering, especially when I do like a lot of different soldering joints. I'm able to like protect the piece by spraying it, but also keep an eye on it because it takes a little bit longer to heat with these. 
So this is a great addition to your bench. If you've never tried a product like this, Rio Grande has Stop Ox, which I have the very large bottle love this stuff. I bought the really large bottle after buying, I think, one or two of the smaller ones. I've tried Fire Scoff My Tea Flux. I'm a big fan of these liquid flux products. I still use Paste Flux as well. I find that it really... I don't use these as a flux. I use them as a protectant. That's just me. Um, there is a difference between the two, I find. This one, I feel like, burns cleaner. So when you're finished, like like I said, I'll insert the clip. When you're finished soldering, I find that the piece overall stays cleaner. Whereas of the Stop Ox, it's a little bit more, like, it's like a little bit more, gr not gritty, but I feel like there's more residue that's left behind. But once you pickle it, that comes off. All right, so first we're gonna use the Pepe Tools Smart Flux. You just want to heat the piece a little bit before you uh, spray this way, it'll kind of stick to the metal. I do it a couple times. As you can see now, it has a nice white coating and then you would just solder as usual, applying your heat until you reach desired temperatures for easy, medium, or hard. And as you can see, the piece keeps really nice and clean. That's really one of the best parts about using these types of tools. Um, obviously these are scraps, so they've been kind of burned more than once, but uh, the next piece I'm going to use the Stop Ox from Rio Grande, and you're going to see that when I apply the spray, there's definitely more fumes, at least that are noticeable. Obviously you want to wear masks regardless if you could see the fumes or not, but as you can see, it's very fumey. I'm not sure if it's because the sprayer is not as fine. Not really 100% on that. I'd have to test it with a fine spray bottle to find out. But you'll see that this leaves like kind of a red sheen, but it's not because it's fire stained. It's just sometimes I've noticed that this leaves like just like a residue, like I said. It comes right off in the pickle, but it's something that I do notice. And like I said, you really want a hot pickle to remove any of um, the stop ox. And for shits and giggles, let's just do one without anything, just applying heat with no protection. And as you can see, it's going to be a little bit darker. It's going to have some fire stain. And this is exactly what these products are preventing. So I'm going to pickle them and then I'll show you guys that they all look the same once they're done, except for the one that actually doesn't have the protection. It doesn't come become as clean as quickly. So these are all three. As you can see, the one that had no protection still has a little bit of fire scale on the bottom, but overall it does the job whether you're using the Pepe tools, the Rio Grande, but I do highly recommend one of them for protection. So it's not really a super you know, big problem, but you need to have a hot pickle. I find that if my pickle's like a little bit cooler warming up, it won't remove all of the stop ox left behind from me soldering it. That's just my own observation. Um, whereas I do feel like this one is a little bit more clean. And hold on, I just wanna get the bottles. So these are the bottles that um, they sell on their website for the Bench Basics, which is just a fine mister. And this thing really gives a much finer mist than this tool that I use. This is just like an old hairspray bottle, which I do love. This is going to distribute the product a lot faster. So I only need like two sprays where sometimes I need like four pumps of this one, but you definitely use a lot less product than your traditional sprayers because the mist is so fine. Um, and maybe that can attribute to why it's a little bit more messy with the other one. I think I'd have to do like a proper comparison, but I don't, I don't think it's that deep. So yeah, I really do like this product. Again, um, I think this is something that you should definitely try if you're going to be, um, you know, on Pepe Tools website and you're going to be buying something or you just want to try this out. I really like this. I, like I said, I'm a big fan of those products. I can't say I won't stop using the stop box. Because I have both right now, I literally use one one day, I'll use one the other day. I don't use one more than the other. I kind of just flip-flop back and forth. Like when I had Fire Scoff, I didn't love Fire Scoff. My T Flux was good, but not like these two. I really enjoy both of these products if you're in the market for them. I'll leave, obviously, links below if you want to try out either or. And then the very last product that I wanted to talk about was the Bench Basics Blade Butter. And this is their version of... I wouldn't say version because it is different, but um, Rio Grande's Burr Life, which mine is so old, there's no label even left on it. But I love both of these products, again, for different reasons. Um, I, I really, when I first got this, I was like, oh, I love this. This is going to definitely replace my Burr Life. But 
Um, there's reasons why I like it and then there's reasons why I don't. So this is great for you put your burrs in, you can get everything really nice and lubricated. It has such a great slip to it and it has a really nice slip for when you're cutting, especially I find with your saw. I feel like it doesn't get the blade all gunked up with lubricant, but the one thing I don't like about it is let's say you're you're designing something and you're using like a Sharpie marker and you're freehanding um, something on like sheet um, silver or copper. This will smear the marker. I'm sure there's ways around that buying a different marker, but to be fair, that's just the only thing I noticed that I don't like. Other than that, I think this would last you a really long time. I do believe this is a few dollars more than the Burr Life, but I also love the Burr Life. It's a little bit more waxy. Um, I don't know if I'd repurchase this. I might just use beeswax next time. I have a block of beeswax upstairs. And, um, but you know, Burr Life has always treated me really well. I've gone through, I think in like the 10 years that I've made jewelry, I think I've only gone through two of these. So they last an incredibly long time. I expect to, for this to last long too. Um, I do notice, however, though, that because it's more of a dip system or I'll put my finger in it, there's a little more contamination, I feel just because naturally that beeswaxy type surface I don't this is beeswax but this waxy type surface doesn't really collect as much dust as like this more um lotiony type um consistency but yeah I really like this and I'm not sure about the burr life but this is non-toxic so it is leaves no residue when heated contains no animal products non-toxic non-staining washes off easily and odorless so if that's important to you then this really will serve a lot of purposes on your bench all right, so I'm just gonna show you quickly. I'm drawing a heart on with some Sharpie. I'm gonna take the blade butter and I'm just gonna rub my fingers, see how quickly it comes off. So as you can imagine, if you're moving your hands around, you're sawing out a design, a lot of the times the um, Sharpie marker does come off. Now, the ease of cutting is like literally butter. It's such a great product when it comes to cutting your metal. It really does assist in giving a really nice slip and I'm just popping a round burr into the blade butter and I'm going to take a scrap piece of metal and just create a little divot with that round burr. This stuff really does a great job with lubricating any ball burrs. I find that they also last a little bit longer, which is a plus. Um, but yeah, I think all three of these products are great products. I think they have a strong line. Um, coming through for you guys. And if you haven't tried any of their bench basics, I do recommend them. I haven't had any problems thus far and I have to place an order soon for some more saw blades. So I might try something else on their website. We'll see. I will definitely keep you guys posted. And if you like these types of reviews, I would love to do more of these for you. Um, I have a lot of small tools, you know, that I can go over and do like quick five minute videos that don't have to be very long. Um, but yeah, you guys let me know. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will put a blade butter clip in as well. Um, and yeah, uh, until then, I'll see you next time. Ciao.